Yeah, big win for them. We were hoping to show you the St. John's at Lansing Eastern game, but by the time we arrived at the Quakers' house, it was donezo. The Red Wings got the dub 43 to 32, while Williamston topped Fowlerville 28 to 7. It's always just very intense in the red, yeah. just like the CAAC Blue. And tonight, a couple of powerhouse programs were also looking to make some statements in league play. Our Ian Crest and Haley Show and Guard join us now with a look at one of the biggest matchups on the night. And guys, Rob Zimmerman's squad was <laughs> hoping for a bounce back performance. Hey guys, yeah, coming off a rare back to back losses in the regular season for DeWitt, that has not happened since 2005. So you know the Panthers were looking to get back in the wing column. Yeah, and to find the last time the Panthers lost three straight games <laughs> in a season, you have to go all the way back to 1998. A great year. It's my birth year. Oh, how about that? Well, it didn't look good early for DeWitt, who was hosting a Holt tonight. And at halftime, the Rams led 8 to 6, but the second half was a completely different story. Panthers' first drive of the half leads to a Bryce Kearns one-yard rushing touchdown, giving DeWitt the lead, and the Panthers would then recover the ensuing kickoff, and it led to another short yardage TD for the boys in blue this time. Landon Tabber finds the painted grass, and the scoring wasn't done there. Elliot Larner going to show off the arm and hits Abram Larner in stride for another DeWitt touchdown. The Panthers outscored Holt 32 0 in the second half in a roll, 38 8. And it begs the obvious question what changed in the second half? We kept things pretty calm in the locker room. I mean, we've put a lot of pressure on this young team, and, and we just talked about how we needed to respond because we hadn't played to our capability. And, and uh, to their credit, we had leadership in the second half. We came out with a lot more energy, and uh, I think we just executed better, and uh, we just played better, played more faster, played physical, and that was the key to the second half.